Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. I wanted to do something that was a little different this time. I wanted to tell you about one of my favorite products that I've come across in the last year. I started watching YouTube you know, a billion years ago like everybody else, but I found a YouTube artist called Simply Nail Logical. Her name is Christine. She lives in Canada and she does this nail art channel. On her channel, um, she has made several thousand videos of her painting her nails and playing with her cats and her boyfriend Ben and all this stuff. And over the years, she has grown into sort of like a little social media empire. She started branding herself as the hollow sexual queen. And what that is, is um, a nail polish or a finish that has holographic look to it, which is the rainbow. As it shifts in the light, it will cover all the colors in the spectrum from red and yellow to green and blue to purple and white and all sorts of colors. Chrome is like a um, metal finish that will bounce back and forth between one to two to three colors. Okay, keep that in mind. So when she came out with her own nail polish line called Hollow Taco, and I really like this YouTube artist and I wanted to help her, and so I bought several bottles of nail polish for our Christmas and gave them out and I kept a couple for myself. Now, you might have seen some of my videos in the past where I'm actually wearing nail polish. I haven't talked about it, but I've been asked a couple of times. Nail polish on men is a stigma, just like makeup, dresses, or other types of things that are categorized as one gender. There may be two genders, in the world, but everything is versatile. Nail polish, to me, makes me feel nice. It has something to do with the way I pick at my nails. Um, I used to bite my nails for a really long time, and I don't now, I got over that sensation, but I love to rub my nails together, I love to pick at them, I like to see how smooth and shiny they are. I like to see the whites of my nails as they grow and get longer, and when I discovered Hollow Taco, which is Christine's nail polish line, I started wearing it and I started looking into more nail polishes. So I wanted to show you something that was really interesting. I work in food industry and in food industry, you can't wear nail polishes a lot of times. So what she came out with is a peel off base coat. And that today is what I wanted to talk to you about was the, new, the peel off base coat. It goes on first, it dries, you put on your nail polish, several coats, top, uh, top coat, and you're done. Several days later, or the next night, or the next day, whenever, it can peel off. And that way I don't have to use acetone, I don't have to sit there for 15, 20 minutes and scrub at my nails and pick at them. Um, that way I can go back to work at Starbucks and not have to worry about nail polish or lacquers on my hand. So. I wanted to quickly show you what a peel-off base coat and her hollow taco line looks like. Okay. So here is hollow taco. And I know that it is in reverse. I apologize about that. It's a little copyright situation as well. Here is the peel-off base coat. Here is a holographic top coat. Do you see all of those wonderful sparkles in there? The, the entire rainbow. Let me make sure that all of this can be seen. I'm sorry. A royalty blue color and a pink red. It is called Party Punch. So, I've already done two of my nails with the peel-off base coat, and I wanted to show you. I haven't gone through this because it doesn't really take too much. You can do it two different ways. You can go all the way to the outside of your finger and your whole nail will peel off every bit of that polish. Or you could go just to the very tip and that will help protect and make the nail polish last on your finger just a little bit longer. This stuff actually dries very quickly and you can see that it's kind of glossy, maybe. And after just a couple of minutes, it dries to a matte finish. 
and you can apply your colors to it. And I wanted to show you here in the light to where hopefully you can see the color shifts inside of the nail polish, the holographic rainbow, okay? I've already done these two with the peel off base coat and now I'm going to work. I can't have nail polish on at work, so what do you do? Check this out. You just peel it right off. Check that out. This one, I did it halfway down to my fingernail. That's where you can leave your room like I did on this nail and see, it's already dry, done. Now I can go over it with a nail polish and wipe it off anytime I want. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that out of the way, you can see that her nail polish has been formulated to be diverse and she has so many things, her hands and so many things, she's come up with a glass nail file, which isn't something that is new. That's a quite old invention. Um, but she's come up with um, base coats that fill in the ridges. Um, she's got everlasting a base coat that makes it stay on longer, that doesn't peel off. Uh, she's got top coats. Um, and a protective latex peeling that goes around your nail so that way if you ever get a mess you can just peel it off like the peely but it's for your skin and you don't have to worry about all the acetone on your hands because it's not good for you so nail polish varnishes and enamels are a lacquer that can go on your fingernails your toenails it can go on um matte gel um, it can go on, let's see, oh, I'm sorry. Um, hmm. we'll, we'll skip that for a second. I apologize, I bounced around for a moment. Okay, so nail polish originated about 3000 BC in China. And that was colors of gold and silver. Red and black were later used in royalty. Uh, in Egypt, they used uh, tan colors, reddish brown, like henna. Henna was applied on the top of the nail as a stain. And um, some of the mummified pharaohs had their nails painted in henna. Color nail polish really didn't make an appearance until the early 1900s. And the formulas were with lavender oils, carmines, oxide tins, Vermont oil, and different things that were natural. Um, they were tinted powders and creams to finish off. You would buff over the top of it and it would add extra layers to it. Over the years, they've come up with different formulas, um, base coats, top coats. Um, this is a nail formula, like a lacquer. Now you can do gels. Gels are completely different. It's a long lasting variety of nail polish made of polyum polyumer. And it's painted onto your nails, just like a traditional nail polish. But instead, it doesn't dry naturally with air. It dries inside of an ultraviolet light tube or a device. And it cures the nail polish. It's chemical reactions. It's really cool. But it makes it a lot more durable. And um, a lot of people like that because they don't have to go every week to the nail salon and get new nail polish. It doesn't chip. It doesn't break very easily. Now, acetone is a remover and it's an organic solvent that uses oil, scents, and colorings. And you apply it to your, uh, you apply it to a cloth or some sort of pad and you take it and you wipe off all of your color. You can let it sit on there for up to 15, 20 minutes. Now the thing about acetone and the reason why you can use peel off base coats is because acetone ruins your nails. It ruins the skin around your nails. It's, even though it's organic, it's a chemical and it's still very harsh. Gasoline is natural, but you don't want to keep breathing it in all the time, you know? So there are lots of different things that you can um, consider health wise or personal taste. Christine likes nail lacquers. Some people like gels. 
Um, you can add shimmers, glitters, frosts, um, matte, holographic. Um, so I just wanted to talk about something that was my favorite products, something that I really liked, um, my favorite YouTuber that I like to watch, and show you another side to me that isn't just kinder eggs and painting and cooking. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below with a like, a comment. Um, I'll link my YouTube, my Facebook back and forth. That way you can go over and check all the rest of the videos out. And maybe I'll continue to make another couple of videos of my favorite products so that you can get a taste of me and see what I like and maybe that you didn't know yourself histories of things and you can try them yourself and you know uh, but I do want to leave you with a message be kind be nice to everybody smile and love anyone and everyone because you don't know who is going to have a bad day who is going through tremendously tough times who is dealing with their sexuality their personal and home life you want to treat people how you want to be treated. You've heard that many times, but a lot of people don't actually go on that principle. Smile. Love people. Don't hate and don't talk bad about people. Other people are watching, especially your children. You don't want them to go through the same things that other people are going through. You don't want to see your child hurting. So treat everyone with kindness, love, respect and enjoy life. Don't make it a hateful, nasty, horrible place. Okay, end of rant. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and being my friend and being there for me. And I hope I'm there for you. Uh, so, mwah, bye. <laughs>